Greetings and salutations, and welcome to a Meridroid's assembly tutorial of the Odroid Go. This is a DIY retro gaming kit that can play NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega Master Systems, and Game Gear games. Alright, so opening up the box, we have a micro USB cable, a 2.4 inch LCD screen, the board itself, a speaker with 10-pin uh, GPIO connector pins, a LiPo battery, a case with the buttons as well as a protective screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do when assembling this all together, we're going to take the LCD screen and peel off the protective uh, covering on that, but we're going to set this aside because we're going to use it here and again in a second. We're going to flip this over so this little tab here is in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to set it in to the case. Now I find it's easier to set it in on these bottom two tabs and then push it in on the top two to set it. So next up we're going to go ahead and put the buttons in. Now they only go in one way so it shouldn't be too hard to figure this out. After that we're going to go ahead and put the rubber pads all over the top. We're going to take three screws and screw the board in. Now you want to make sure these screws are nice and snug in there, but not too tight because you'll have a chance of cracking the board or the plastic. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take the speaker and insert it into the speaker tab. Now these are very clearly labeled so it shouldn't be hard to mess these up. You're also going to take your battery and insert it into the battery slot. Now we're going to take and put the on off switch on here. The next thing we're going to do is insert the ribbon cable into the board and then pop the little tabs down on this to make sure it is nice and secure. I'm going ahead and pop the back of the case on. Maybe a little bit more out of the way. Back of the case on. and screw it all in. Alright, and the hardware assembly is done for now. I'm going to go ahead and put the protective screen back on the outside of the case. Just for now, uh, we're going to save this one to put on later once we figure out that we have installed all the software properly. Going over to Ameridroid.com, uh, we'll have links in the description to find the Odroid Go. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the loading ROMs page. If we open that and scroll down until we see the skeleton files, we can go ahead and download those. And we're going to 7-zip them and extract them to the desktop. So here we have our SD card. Um, if we format it, you'll need to have it formatted as a FAT file type. It won't work as any of the others um, and FAT is kind of picky about the size of your SD card and so if you don't see it at first you may need to try creating a partition that's smaller than two gigabytes and then uh, you can go ahead and format it like so. If we go ahead and grab um, 
So if we grab the files off of this and drag them to Odroid Go, you can see now we have uh, the ROM section. If we open that up, and I've got Tetris here for the Game Boy Color. I'm just going to add that into my, uh, my ROMs. And that is all that's required for setting up your software. All right, and the last thing that we're going to do is take the SD card and put it into the back of the Odroid Go and boot it up. 